I'm an idiot doctor then. <laughs> an idiot with a PhD? Yeah. Well, there are, there maybe are. Theory. Maybe, maybe, but maybe not. So the guy came and attacked the banner. Right. I was ready to plant him down on the ground, you know. But he backed off, you know. But I was worried that he was going to attack me, you know. I try to avoid violence as much as possible. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, if I'm holding the banner, I can't defend myself, you know, so. <laughs> but better, they just look like idiots on, uh, on the video, you know, like, they're the ones that are going to look Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because on the way here, I ran into somebody who spat at me when I was doing my church protest a few weeks ago. Oh. And I confronted them about it verbally, like, not loud or anything. Yeah. Know, by the way, you know. Yeah. And they got aggressive again. Uh, they said, back the fuck off from right? calling the police, you know? <laughs> they called the police and all filed assault charges against yeah. you. Know? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So we had, I, he, they pulled out their cell phone to film, so I pulled out my, we had a little dueling cell phone. You know? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, no, I mean, no situations. Well, the one guy that threatened me explicitly, you know, mm -hmm. uh, but he said, if you weren't. Uh, uh, an elderly person, you know, I'd, I'd uh, smash your face in. Right. And then that's he said, threat. I'll that's smash your face in anyway. So threat. I filed a complaint. That's a threat. That's I filed a complaint with the police and they said, no, it's not a threat. Because he said, if you weren't, you know, uh, elderly, if you yeah. weren't an old man. But then he went on to say, I'll smash your face He in. went on, yeah, but yeah. they don't pay attention to that. Yeah, well, they want to, they, they, they like to, I think, minimize their work, as it were, you know. Uh, they want an easy time of it in the court, you know, an easy prosecution. Yeah. 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 Well, they don't always, because they've brought totally ridiculous charges against me. <laughs> like, flimsy as fuck, you know, and <laughs> I uh, defend myself, you know? Yeah, uh, for us, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll yeah, exactly. throw any charge, you know, whatsoever. Uh, years ago, uh, I heard this... Uh, Montreal criminal defense lawyer, I can't remember. Oh, he's re he recording with his cell phone. Can you uh, come over here so we can get the banner? Well, exactly. He, oh, no, okay, right you're right. standing in front of the banner. Um, but uh, this criminal defense lawyer, an Italian woman, her name, I can't remember, she was on record in the Gazette, I think, or some other mainstream media, saying that the SPVM and the Crown would knowingly bring basically flimsy criminal charges against activists that they knew wouldn't stand up in court, that they knew they'd probably be acquitted, but they brought the charges anyway to place them under court conditions. Yeah. Knowing full well that a yeah. couple of years down the road they'd be acquitted. Yeah, because you know? they have they impose conditions that yeah, you exactly. can't go the back to the protest. They put people under conditions on flimsy criminal charges. Yeah. You know, that, that's the, but yeah. we defeated the uh, police conditions in uh, both of us. Yeah, uh, you know, I've been acquitted of everything. Yeah. Oh, and I not had to appeal. I had to. I basically had conditions imposed on me for three years. <laughs> oh, so you appealed that decision? Yeah, yeah, because I was convicted of breach of conditions, so I had to appeal the conditions. Oh, uh huh. So, yeah, no, they, 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 have, they have dirty tricks. You know? Yeah. Uh, March the 3rd March is the 3rd? next uh, audience. Right, right, right. Yeah. And uh, with Richard, uh, we're going to uh, present a constitutional defense. Of course. Uh, yeah. Okay. But uh, I, I'm appealing to uh, legal aid because they turned me down for legal aid for Richard. Right, right. So I have right. to appeal that. Right. I'm trying to make an appeal against the juridic because he m'a rejecté for... Pour yeah. payer l'avocat Richard uh, Beaulieu. Okay. Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. Another guy came by yeah. who disagreed, but he wanted me to put on Tvillin. Put it on. Tvillin. It's a Jewish prayer ritual, so he did it right here. Yeah, it was okay. Oh, Tefillim, Tefillim, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not in our name, Palestinian lives matter too. Nicht auf unsere Nummer. Pas notre nom.
Mr. Fins of Anuma. Palestinian lives matter too. Is this being live streamed or? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh no, 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 not that. Okay, right. no, it's just recording. Right. Has a big memory. Right. High definition. Right. Wide angle. Right. Where did you get it? Online. A donation. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, it. somebody said that I needed this. Yeah, no, it's a good idea. Yeah. yeah it'd be even better if you were live streaming. <laughs> But, but yeah, it's a good I, idea to have it. Anyway. I was live streaming yeah. on Facebook before, but you know, yeah. no yeah. big deal. Right, right. You know, this is better. You can always upload that later to YouTube or whatever. Anyway. Well, that's what I do, yeah. 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 That's and what then, I do with mine. Like, I film with this, which is not live streaming at all, but then I boost it up to YouTube later. You know? Yeah. So. And uh, I did a, a, a weekly video broadcast uh, with uh, Steve Struggle. Uh, American uh, Black Panther veteran. Right, no, I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. We did another, another one yesterday. The last time I spoke with you, you said the police, the local police, are basically leaving you alone these days. They're not bothering you. Or yeah, they leaving. defend me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There was one supervisor who came over here last right. week, right. stopped in front of me, rolled down his window, and said, "You are courageous," <laughs> in French. I said, right. "Yeah, well, you know, the war is continuing on. You know, so I have no choice in the matter." Well, some of the police, I'm sure, are sympathetic, you know, and they know you're peaceful. Also, the uh, the Quebecois police, you know, they know what occupation is. Mm -hmm. So they're sympathetic to the Palestinians because mm -hmm. they feel like they're suffering mm -hmm. historic consequences of occupation as well. No, 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 ça c'est très bon. Oh, c'est correct. It's not that cold anyway, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. Do you want to do a bit more video? Do you want to say anything? Or no pressure. I think we got plenty already, but, but if you do if you do want to say a thing or two, just let me know and I'll Yes. Okay, do let's more? do an interview because I have to explain something. Okay, right. Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too. Okay. Now, Israel's defense at the International Court of Justice, their defense basically is refuted by the painting up there, one Holocaust does not justify another. So they're claiming that the Jewish people have been subjected to a Holocaust and therefore have a right to defend themselves by any means necessary. Not in our name, ma'am. Palestinian lives matter too. One Holocaust does not justify another. Yeah. It's obvious, you know, the logic of it is obvious. You cannot justify one Holocaust by saying that there was another one. Oh, somebody's coming. Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too. Yes. So. Keep them relatively short. People yeah. have limited attention spans too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not in our name. Palestinian lives matter too. Okay. Well, you're pretty dedicated anyway. But I'm glad you're not doing the hunger strike because oh, no. it's not a good idea. Not Especially possible. Old, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, and the cold it's as well. It's self-defeating to be. Yeah. yeah, no, that was just a personal uh, yeah. revulsion yeah. 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 that I yeah. I couldn't stand. Yeah, but no, I think it's much better to do what you're doing, you know, than, than a hunger strike. You know, we get uh, to speak with a lot of people. We break through the censorship. Yeah. We speak with Jewish people who have never heard a contrary opinion before in right. their lives. Right. Yeah. And this is the first time that they hear something, right. you know. Right. Right. But I find that there's a lot more uh, reaction from the Zionists nowadays because of the International Court of Justice. They're upset, they're worried, and they realize that we're a threat just by standing here. And so they, re you know, try to dissuade us from staying here, they try to demoralize us. But they're so crude. 